Yeah, I don't need to from the East Coast. Um, I just, I had like, you know, I had a, just always winter coats and it gets quite cold. And, uh, in the mountains in Virginia, I kind of collected a, a whole lot of fur coats. And, um, but then in summertime would come and stuff, I kind of would get attached to the coat as if it was like a pet. So then I started collecting tails. We, we would go to Europe and we would end up taking the QE2 back and forth, back and forth. So I took the QE2 eight times before it was retired. I mean, it's a gorgeous boat, but like at the end of the tour, you just want to be home. You just don't want to have to like cruise for five days to get home. You just want to be home. So coming over to start the tour, it was like, it was always awesome to take the boat because you, you know they just have like salt water baths, mineral baths, and, like everything really relaxing. But then like when you just when you're done with the tour, you just want to go home. So I don't know, but the Concorde was the sickest um, thing. I, like probably the sickest thing I've ever done ever. Like I was looking at the window and you look up and you see it's the like. It's all black. It's outer space. You're just that close. It's intense. I was freaking out. I was just like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah, and when it takes off, it just... You know, the genes as far back as I, you know, I can remember, and I'm sure as far back as the inception of the actual denim cloth itself, like, They've been patched and repatched, and I think it's kind of like a crazy quilt style thing where, you know, it's just over the years, it, you know, the, the patching tells a story. Like, you know, where did, where did this patch come from or where did this cloth come from? What was I doing when I, like, ripped these out? You know, well, you know, and I, sometimes, you know, I guess like maybe 20 years ago, I'd, you know, if we were on tour and I didn't have like my little travel sewing kit or something, I would use duct tape because we always had duct tape for set lists and mic stands and stuff. So I use duct tape, and uh, you know, obviously that's going to give way after you like put, like run it through the wash a couple times. And so you know, and I would just patch over the duct tape, and it just you know, it's like kind of a multi-layer. Crafts project ongoing, but for a very utilitarian purpose. Because we're we're not really a traditional like we're not we're not really we're not really a band. It's nature's way.